We're in Exodus 27 and we still have all this stuff going on with the building and furnishing of the tabernacle. And today in this chapter, Exodus 27, we have the altar. And I want you to listen, I'm just gonna read uh, the first verse, maybe one and two. You shall make an altar of Achaia wood, five cubits long, five cubits wide. The altar shall be square, its height shall be three cubits, and you shall make its horns on it four corners. Its horn shall be of one place with it, and you shall overlay it with bronze. It's the building of the altar, really, where they'll do sacrifices. And here's the thing. The word altar actually means killing place. Killing place, obviously, is for sacrifices. And our altar, so to speak, would be the cross where Jesus was, well, he was killed for us. But all through this chapter, you've got these different parts of the tabernacle. You've got these poles that hold the outer parts of the tabernacle itself. You've got the gate, you've got all these different things. You also have the, the lamps and the light and the oil, all these things, but the altar. Well, that's the focus because it's the altar where everything happens. It's the reason all the other stuff is there because of the sacrifice for sins. So you say, John, why would I wanna read about all this stuff? Well, because of the symbolism and the meaning as God is preparing you, me, the world, the Jewish nation for his ultimate sacrifice. And they all mean something. The lamp, the oil, we're to be the light of the world, the altar, God gives us a sacrifice. It's all about a place of worship. It's all about God's sacrifice. It's all about God's purpose and plan for us. There's a killing place and we come to it and there's a sacrifice being killed. And that sacrifice is for you and I. Exodus 27, yeah, kind of hard to read, a lot of crazy stuff, but God can speak to your heart and my heart through a thing called the altar in the tabernacle.